Uh, uh, what's going on, world? Um, Olivia Nicole here. Uh, that's me. Um, you know, uh, I'm, it's been a lot of stuff going on. Just a lot of stuff going on, okay? Um, well, you know, first, you know, uh, may they rest in peace. Uh, shout out to my guy, brother JT. I know you up there doing big things, homie, partying with Jesus and all that good stuff. To my cousin Craig, rest in peace, homie. Up there spinning it, go ahead on there, rip one, flow one time for Jeezy, no letter. Hey, I'm up there jamming and stuff like that, but you know what I'm saying? Um. Anyway, inside my head, I have been going crazy, you know? Uh, But, you know, like I said, you know, I'm going crazy, so that means I'm, I'm still among the living, so, you know? Uh, it is what it is, cause you know, the more you live, the more you gonna go through stuff. If you ain't going through stuff, you might want to check your post, cause you might be dead. <sighs> you know, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know what, what, the, I don't know what the name of this video is gonna be, but anyway, if you were watching in my videos, I had the thing called, uh, I had the thing called the love series. And that was the time when. I was in love with my ex girlfriend, you know, we wasn't together no more, but you know, I was still in love with crap, so I was just going through that, going through life, being dealing with that, you know, trying to get over it or whatever, like that, stuff like that. You know, then I finally got over it, you know, still living life, going through it, you know, riding around, getting it in, all that good stuff. And, you know, I wasn't even thinking about this. I don't know what I was thinking about, and, you know, it hit me like, yo, dude, ain't no doubt about it, you know what I'm saying, she was the person I ever loved, whether it was male, female, she was, the, well, not the person I ever loved, first, the first person I ever loved, like, the first person I ever fell in love with, whether male or female, you know, she was the, she was the first one, or whatever, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, but, you know, this epiphany hit me, it was like, Son, she wasn't ever in love with you, son. I don't even think she ever loved you at all. I, I, mm. then, I was, then, you know, like I said, I wasn't thinking about the situation when that epiphany popped up on me. So then, you know, after that epiphany popped up on me, I was like, true, true. So then I actually started thinking about it. Okay, yeah, I can, I can. True, you right, you right. I, I see it, I see it, I see it, you know. You know, it's like, um, it's like, man, you know, at the time when I was going through it or whatever, you know, I'd be like, that ain't sad. like, I don't, I don't understand this. Why, why is it like this? I don't, I don't get it. I just don't get it. Why is it like this? But, you know, like I said, you know what I'm saying? I was in love, and, you know what I'm saying? Whether, you know, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't there for her. It, no, not at all. Mm. Nope. But you know, and that still don't change the fact, you know. But cause for me, shit, you know, uh, it was real. You know, um, I can't go back and change the first person I fell in love with. Cause shit, I'm t well, even after I'm dead, you know, my my life has been lived. So shit, if you tell a story about me. She would still be the first person I ever fell in love with. So that's just the, you know, I can't go back and erase that part of history because it wasn't real for her. But you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Because, you know, even though I had a bad love experience, I think I'm kind of sort of going through another one. But, you know, it is what it is, man. Love is a beautiful thing. A love, with, love was a beautiful thing before I was alive. It's going to be a beautiful thing while I'm living it. It's going to be a beautiful thing after I'm long and dead. Love is a beautiful thing. The thing is... Love is a beautiful thing. However, some people can turn love into some ugly stuff. You know? But love is love itself is so beautiful. You know that song, Love Don't Love Nobody? Of course love don't love nobody because it's love. Love is not a person. Love can't love nobody. That ain't what it's supposed to do. Somebody's supposed to love you and they're supposed to put action behind it and you be feeling it. Okay, when I say you be feeling love, I ain't actually meant in like a physical sense, like, but it, you know, emotional, mentally, you're supposed to feel it, you know. But however, if you get a person 
and they showing that bad love for you. Kind of sort of get a bad vibe about love altogether. But no, don't feel like that about love. You should feel like that for the person because love ain't the one that's doing it to you. It's the person that you love that's doing it to you. Yeah, that. But you know, yeah, you know, that's one thing. And, you know, shit, yeah, man. I just had to get that out because, like I said, man, you know, I love talking to y'all, whether y'all actually be listening or not. I had to get it out of my head, so I stopped going crazy, man, because it's just been floating around in my head. Stuff just floating around in my head until I finally get it out. So, you know, had to get it out, you know. Oh, this pink. I'm going to let y'all listen to this because this is my wife right here, even though she don't know I exist and stuff like that. But it's cool. It's just a game we play. I know it. She know it. It's all good. Whew. I feel so much better now. Mm. Oh, I'm cooking. Let me check out my food. But yeah, anyway, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, you know, uh, after that, you know, it's like, well, the thing is, I'm glad, you know, I finally had that epiphany after I fell out of love with her. Because... Like, the thing is, if you love somebody or you attach to somebody like that, like, how they treat you, it, it matters, you know what I'm saying? However, you can't just make your feelings evaporate like that, so shit, you still gotta go through it and stuff like that. So I'm just like, I'm glad I had that epiphany after I was already after I was already out of love with her, because if I was in, still in love with her and then I would've had the epiphany, I would've been hurting even more, because it's like, oh, no! Ah! You know, it was already like a knife in the heart because, you know, my heart was broken and crap like that. And, like, my heart was broken and I felt like she was just stepping and pissing on the pieces and set it on fire and stuff like that. I know I, I put water on it and then I set it on fire. But, yeah, she did all that. Put some, did put some gasoline on it and let it explode. Uh, but, yeah, you know what I'm saying, man? You know, it's just life, you know? And, like I said, I was hurting. You know, I... All that, that the gasoline, the fire, the piss, I felt all that, you know, my heart was going through it. But, you know, I made it. And look at me now, crazier than ever. Yes, I'm here. I said it. <sighs> but, you know what I'm saying, man? Um, was it an experience I liked going through? No, not at all. It was crazy. Logically, there was... It shouldn't even got that far. I should have had been walked away. But you know, like, if y'all know anything about me, I'm a person of the heart. So whatever my heart wants, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to do my best to go out there and get it for Because, I mean, it's my heart. It's this artery or organ that's pumping this blood through my body that's literally giving me life. So, I mean, yo, if she wants something, who am I to tell her she can't have it? You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go out there and do what I can to make sure she get it. Why? Because that, that's what I'm supposed to do for her. My heart, you know. You know what I'm saying? But... You know, you just go through some shit in life sometimes, you know what I'm saying? And you learn from it, because I don't learn from it. Now, like, dang, I wish I would have learned all this about this one situation before I got into this other situation. But, like, it's like, I'm, yeah, you know? So, it's like, I'm just learning right now. All this is just a learning experience. I'm just learning, 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 learning all about it, you know what I'm saying? Dang, I'm mad I can't put this video up today. I'll probably put it up tomorrow sometime, but, uh. Uh, man, I'm so tired. I was just food's already done, so I go take a nap real quick. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it's it's cool. Now my head is not going so crazy no more, so I can calm down now. Now they got it out. That's just like, man, thank y'all. You know, like the people that don't like talking, my mom is gonna come in now. She's probably gonna say something, so you're gonna hear her in the background. But anyway, like like talking and they like to keep their feelings all bundled up inside I don't understand them cuz talking talking is a beautiful thing express yourself let all your beautiful feelings come out and share Shut with up. see what I mean that's my lovely mom right there hey, I tell you. What's happening? that's her she's a gangster I, I she is literally on the only the only one the only one woman that I'm terrified of if you're not my mama I ain't scared of you okay but her I would run for my life Run! But anyway, you know, um, alright, uh, I guess that's how I'm in this video. Uh, Liv Nicole here, and I'm out. I love you guys. You guys are like, man, I lost my bracelet the other day at work. But, you know, it is what it is. I got the rainbow on me. We still here. <laughs>
<laughs> Alright, um, yeah, good night. Well, it's still daytime, so good afternoon, good evening. Uh, y'all have fun.